Oh yes, I think it was a great initiative by uh, President Santoki, Minister Ramdin, and Minister Matera. Uh, Brazil is very glad to participate. This is a very important topic, and we have a very representative delegation here in Suriname. Okay, uh, the last few days, so, uh, can you tell us a little bit more what, what actually has been discussed? What are the key elements and uh, what are we looking at in the future? We're looking specifically at uh, how to combat as a region all forms of uh, transnational crime, be it cybercrime, be it uh, traffic in uh, illegal goods, uh, traffic in persons. So how do we do it? within the region and with the friends of the region, uh, how best to tackle the issue of transnational crime. There are bonds that will form between these parties. Um, do we have reassurance that these bonds will actually be formed at the end of the high-level security conference? This is a process. Of course, I can only speak uh, for Brazil, obviously. We have enormous cooperation uh, with Suriname beginning in 1975 and it always getting stronger and more intense and that is in the field of the defense and also now in the field of public security so i think that this initiative by the government suriname is very timely in trying to gather uh, these nations together uh, since it's a process it's beginning but i think it's beginning with the right foot and lastly, I would like to know, um, how, how will Suriname and Brazil cooperate on uh, this level if we're talking about security? What, what specifically are we looking at between the relation uh, of Suriname and Brazil? Uh, we already do cooperate very much. The basic idea here is to get institutions in touch with each other, uh, facilitating communications. And uh, when it's necessary, when it's so demanded, providing capacity building, providing a transfer of technology, and uh, helping out uh, in institutional matters. But to answer your question very succinctly, the cooperation is already happening on this bilateral level.